feel very lucky to be here at 4-H Memorial Camp today because it takes me back a long time. I believe it was 1951 when I first came as a 4-H'er and I probably came four years that way and then I was on the leadership uh, camp and then I got to come back as the continuation committee where we ran the leadership camp just before I went to the University of Illinois. So I was just excited to get to meet so many people from different places and make a lot of new kinds of friends. Um, we really did learn a lot of responsibility. We were talking about vocabulary and when I went back from camp I said things like, oh I was a trotter and they said, what's a trotter? <laughs> But we did things like our camp directors have reflected on too. We we took care of everything, uh, setting the table, doing our own food, uh, keeping the cabins clean, getting places on time. Uh, so just all that responsibility was good. The friendships were good, and uh, just kind of building a lot of self confidence. I just loved being in this place, and it was named. It was meaningful to me that they were naming it 4-H Memorial Camp after the soldiers that died in World War II. It always made an impression on me that we were right next to uh, the Allerton Park. So I think it was really quite a great gift when Robert Allerton donated all of this land and that we were next to a youth camp because uh, it's just so artistic, the entryway here and uh, the setting and having the lake and even the way the cabins are arranged with the giant's foot, it, it's been nicely done. And uh, some of the highlights were going over to the park uh, and of course one of the biggest highlights was the candlelight service in the sunken garden uh, that that really did influence my wanting to come back again and again not even really knowing it but it was just a much prettier place than we'd often gone to outdoor recreation often we would have a two or three international people from the university around here I think the directors made sure that we had that influence sometimes they gave uh, talks uh, but just having them here like campers, like real people. And uh, so I, actually after I finished the University of Illinois, I was very lucky again and got to go on and be an IFI. Back then it was called International Farm Youth Exchange, then it became International 4-H Youth Exchange. But uh, all of that, I really think, could come back to here, to this very spot. I did learn a lot of leadership skills here. Uh, first of all, just taking responsibility, which of course is one of the basic leadership skills, not being afraid to go ahead and say I can or I will or I will help you, or even sitting in the background and letting somebody else be out in front, I think was something we learned, uh, which is really important in uh, leadership. Uh, just learning how to make new friends and uh, making friends from a, a cross-section of areas of uh, the state and different ages. And we did a lot of fun things at this camp. I'm not a singer, but we could always feel comfortable singing here. Uh, I mean, when I came in, I kind of wanted to say, uh, oh, when you're happy, when you know it, clap your hands, because that's the way I felt coming in here. And the songs we sang were just uh, fun. Anybody could sing them. Uh, so that was uh, another confidence builder. Uh, meeting the new people, taking uh, jobs that you thought you maybe couldn't take. People would say, sure, you can do that. You can get up in the dining room and make the announcements tonight in front of all these 400 people. You know? So it was, it was good.